Hey everybody, I wanted to make a quick video on why I suggest to use the brackets to select a single pandas data frame column and not dot notation. So here are 10 reasons I've come up with, and then I'm going to explain each one of these reasons with a little bit of code. So reason number one, you can select column names with spaces. Number two, you can select column names that have the same name as methods. Number three, you can select columns with variables. Number four, you can select non-string columns. Number five, you can set new columns. Number six, you can select multiple columns. Number seven, uh, dot notation is a strict subset of the brackets. Number eight, use one way which works for all situations, and that's the brackets. Number nine is autocompletion works both inside the brackets and uh, following it. And number 10, brackets are the canonical way to select subsets for all objects in Python. Okay, so I have a very short data frame here. Uh, with just a few columns, and I'm going to just use this to explain all of the reasons. So number one is that uh, you can select column names with spaces. So with the with dot notation, you can select a column name like name, which does not have any spaces in it. But you cannot select something like average score, which does have a space. So this will be incorrect syntax. Um, so this is impossible. So what you'll have to do is use the brackets for something like average score. And I actually use tab completion right there to uh, fill it out. Reason number two, you can select column names that have the same name as methods. So here is uh, df. And the max column is a method. And so it certainly does not select that as a series. It just, uh, it actually outputs the, uh, this is uh, confusing for some people, but it just simply outputs the visual display of the data frame and it doesn't actually execute the method. The method, uh, So it's a method um, that has the same name as a data frame column. So the only way to select it would be like this. So as you can see, the two will show uh, completely different results. So you have to use the brackets to select a, a method name that uh, course or is the same as a column name. Select column names with variables. So say I have a variable as a string. I certainly can't uh, do this with dot notation. I have to use the brackets. Number four, select non-string columns. So actually I don't have any uh, non-string columns just yet, but um, I will create one. This is another uh, reason actually corresponds with step number two. So um, you can use non-strings, and I actually don't suggest doing this at all, but uh, just for the sake of argument, you can actually use a non-string um, as a as a column name. So here I've just used an integer. So you cannot select it with dot notation like that. df.0 doesn't work. You can, however, select it like this in the brackets. Set new columns. So uh, even if we have something that's say, say a new call or something, um, that will not set it as a new column with dot notation. You have to use the brackets. So if I do that, now I get a new call, and I probably should use maybe a different number. So new call is now set. You can only set new columns with the brackets. Okay, number six, dot notation is a strict subset of the brackets. That means there's nothing that the, bra the that dot notation can do that the brackets cannot. And everything that the brackets uh, can do is not available with dot notation, as you've seen above. So it's one method that um, uh, does it all. And I think I... Copy the wrong one, six and seven. <clears throat> oh, select multiple columns. So that was really number six. So yes, you can only select one column at a time with that notation. With the brackets, you can select multiple columns. So you can do name and max and by passing in a list. That's not possible with that notation. Okay, so going on to number eight, use one way which works for all situations. So, you know, you can mix and match the dot notation with the brackets, but in my opinion, it is far superior to just use one way to solve the problem that works for 100% of the situation. So the brackets will always work regardless of how you want to select the column. The dot notation is limited to just strings that don't have any spaces in them and that begin with a letter, actually. All right, so some people say that uh, they like using dot notation because they get uh, some tab completion. 
So here's for one, for instance, you do df.name, I can tab complete there. And then if I press tab here, it's a little slow, but it'll come up with all of the, the method names uh, just for the series. So that's nice, but it uh, turns out that uh, you can, like I did, I just tab completed that. Let me just do it again. And if I do tab here again, then I actually get um, all the methods uh, as well. So I don't know if this is um, uh, a newer addition to Jupyter. I think I've just uh, noticed this recently, but um, it's, it's, it appears that you can use uh, tab completion on a uh, when you use the brackets. So that's a, uh, it looks like a, that's a, another reason uh, that doesn't uh, seem to hold up. Uh, and the last reason is that the brackets are the canonical way to select subsets for all objects. So canonical meaning if you have a list, for instance, um, to select an item in a list, you use the brackets. You know, it also does like slice notation. If you have a dictionary, it also uses the brackets. If you have a string, you also use the brackets to select uh, the subset of that. So, um, and NumPy arrays as well uh, use the brackets, and Pandas is built directly on, on NumPy arrays, uh, which use the brackets. So it actually helps your Python thinking to, whenever you see brackets, to immediately think, I'm selecting some subset of data, regardless of the object. So this is what literally the brackets means. Whenever you see a brackets appended to an object like this, it means you are selecting some subset of that. It could be one item, it could be multiple items, but it's going to be some subset, which is why I recommend always using the brackets. It'll help uh, your, pi your uh, knowledge of Python as well. So those are the uh, 10 reasons why I suggest using the brackets to select a single column of a pandas data frame and not dot notation.